Hello guys, it's Woolly. Surprise, surprise. Um, yeah, I'm, despite my semi-retirement, unintentional though it has been over the last year or two, um, I thought I'd do a quick video to just quickly update the design of the Woolly Vator uh, because I do still get a lot of comments, uh, people struggling with the timings uh, and getting this working. Um, now, uh, Kind of to my surprise, I did find actually that the, the game has changed sufficiently that the pattern that is employed in the original design is no longer um, no longer works, um, but it's not a big issue to fix. OK, so I'm just going to take I'm not going to show you the build. Um, I'll put a link to the original tutorial for you to view, um, but um, I'm just going to take you through the pattern on the in the wiring here. So, um, as before, from our button block, we go down through a two-tick repeater um, to power some redstone to power the first piston, and we go up through a torch block. Yeah, this is exactly the same into a three-tick repeater. Okay. Now, at this point in the original design, we move to a two-tick repeater on each repeat of the pattern, and we can do that for um, six repeats before we have to change the pattern. However, it's now five repeats. Okay, so that's really important. So if we look at these, we've got one, two, three, four, five, and then the sixth is on three ticks, and then we go one, two, three, four, five, and then the sixth is on three ticks. Okay, however, this might change in the future. So what I thought I'd do is I'd just show you how to troubleshoot this. And this is exactly the process I went through after I thought I'd cracked it with the first section and it seemed to be working. And then I started getting stuck after a certain height. Okay, this is exactly what I did. So if we go down here, okay, and I'm gonna jump into um, survival mode, yeah, for realism. Um, if we hop in a minecart, yeah, yay, we've got this wonderful elevator. It works really well. Oh no, we're stuck in a block. If we hop out, okay, we can see the minecart's stuck in this slime block. Okay, so that suggests that the minecart's not had enough time to get past before the piston extends. This is on two ticks. Let's try it on three. Okay, and that's exactly the process I went through. Um, so we can then hop down here. Get rid of these blocks for a moment. Push the minecart across. Clear our scaffolding out. And grab a slime block again. Bop, bop. I'm using these uh, terracotta blocks instead of melons. They're quite nice. They work really well for this. Um, because they don't get dragged by the pistons. Uh, even though you can push them directly. You, they, the pistons don't stick to them. Um, okay, so... Let's try again. Yay, we've fixed it. It's working really well. Only, oh no, we're now stuck in a block again. So let's hop out. Yep, same deal. There's the minecart. Okay, so let's try increasing the delay on this from two ticks to three. Yeah, and pop, pop. Like that. Push him, push this guy across. And put these blocks back. Hold jump so we're not bouncing forever. And try again. And we're shooting up and up. And it's all good because I didn't mess with the uh, pattern above this point. Um, so, yeah, the, the elevator is still operationable. Operationable? Operational. Um, you just need to change that pattern. Okay. So, um, then we're old. Oh <laughs> um, so yeah, we just got this new pattern and, um, and it just works fine, but that's how you troubleshoot it. Yeah. If it gets stuck in the block, maybe it needs more delay. Um, or if the piston extends and the right minecart runs into the bottom of it, um, and then falls back down. Again, maybe it needs more delay. Just try a bit more delay. Um, if the minecart kind of scoots on past the piston before and then it doesn't get propelled up. Yeah, it just kind of goes past and then falls down. Maybe it needs less delay. Yeah, try setting a tick lower. 
um, on on the repeater. Um, this is the same as the tutorial. Mumbo uh, actually shouted this design out. I forgot, don't know if I remembered to say that. Thank you. Um, he had a nice little alternative way of doing this at the top. Uh, but this is the same as the tutorial. Only difference is I'm at build limit here, so I can't put the button on top. Um, so just stuck it down there. Um, now, the reason, what convinced me actually to make this video, apart from getting comments all the time about it not working, uh, was I kind of wondered why are people actually still building these? Yeah, what what's the what's the deal? Bubble columns are so much simpler, so, so much simpler to to make. And they're, they're just as fast. They seem as fast as you can go. Well, watch this. I'm going to put some redstone here. This command block, yeah, when I push the button, this redstone is going to activate this command block and summon a villager into the bottom of this um, water stream. Watch this. Let me check. I've got no more, no villagers hanging around. Okay, good. Watch this. Boom, there's our villager. We're drawing ahead. Oh, yes, we're leaving him for dust. Soggy, watery, bubbly dust. Look at this. I'm actually quite impressed. I don't mean to tootle my own trumpet. It's not a thing I'm a big fan of doing, but... Look at that. Pop, there we go. So it's not a million miles faster, but uh, it certainly, certainly does do the job. Um, anyway, so... I hope that this video lets uh, people kind of try and figure out these uh, any issues with this um, and keep things running smoothly in the world, and more pe more people can enjoy this uh, this pretty well. It's pretty awesome design. It's probably the best thing I've ever designed, um, perhaps. So um, yeah. Anyway, as I said, I'm kind of semi-retired um at the moment so i think this will probably probably end up being a one-off video uh i don't know i'm i i fell out of uh playing minecraft craft for a while my life got so busy i kind of grew a bit bored of the game as well um and my life is still pretty busy i'm not sure i've got time to to get back into recording videos or, or, or doing an lp or something like that um, I don't know. Leave a comment if you want to know, want to see an LP, but uh, I'm not promising anything. Um, however, I do hope that this helps guys out that are having problems. And uh, yeah, I hope you have a wonderful day. All right. Cheers, guys.